um, good afternoon class. So now let's discuss volcanic hazards. First, what is volcano? Okay, volcano can produce ash, toxic gases, flash floods of hot water and debris, cold bars, lava flows, and fast moving flows of hot gases and debris cold pyroclastic flows. Okay, so yung um pino produce na volcano, yung um ash. Alam niyo yung ash, yung soft, then yung toxic gases, um, then flash floods of hot water. Ito na yung lahars, which is yung mga putik siya na lumalabas sa mga nga ng vulcan. And then yung lava flows. Obvious, no, obvious naman na yan. So now let's discuss um, major health threats from a volcanic corruption. Okay? So, volcanoes view hot, dangerous gases, is what I've said kanina, then ash, lava, and rock that are powerfully destructive. Okay? So, kung matamaan yung itong um, hot, dangerous gases and, or yung mga ashes niya, then lava, so maari natin itong kamatay. Okay? Then, volcanic eruptions that results in additional tricks to help, such as floods. Okay, um, during volcanic eruptions, magkakaroon talaga ng flats, then mudslides, yun ay sinasabi ko kanina, yung lahars, then power outages. Siyempre, magkakaroon ng um, uh, destruction dito sa mga uh, current, yung mga connection natin. Then, drinking water contamination, magkakaroon ng contamination yung tubig natin kapag um, natamaan yun ng, or nalagyan ng mga ashes yung tubig natin. And then wildfires. Obviously, magkakaroon talaga ng wildfires um, because, because uh, yun na nga, apoy yung ibinugay ng volcano, so magkakaroon talaga ng sunog. Around um, around the places of the volcano. Then, health concerns after a volcanic eruption include infectious disease. Okay? Um, some example of infectious disease are yung mga um, TB. Ano, ano pa? Okay? Let's discuss that later. Then, respiratory illness. Ito yung um, asthma, enticement, and silicosis. Then, burns. Then, injuries from hose. Oh, Siyempre, um, during this calamity, magkakaroon talaga na injury. So, uh, it is important that um, we should be calm or uh, we should relax. We, we should, uh, we, we need to not be panic during calamity para malaman natin kung ano yung proper na gagawin natin. And then, vehicles accident related to exploration may um, after volcanic eruption, meron kaya mga um, mga fog spots because of ashes. So, kapag um, hindi tayo naging, uh, hindi tayo naging during um, yung mga pag-alangbay natin yung sin vehicles, magkakaroon talaga tayo ng accidents and then hazy conditions caused by ash. So, uh, are you related to the um, pag yung pagputok ng vulcanic amang um, pinatubo? So, uh, yes. Ilan na kami minutes? Pag na abot five? Okay. Then, volcanic ash. Okay. Exposure to ash can be harmful. Infants, early people, and people with respiratory conditions such as asthma, to name more respiratory illnesses, then emphysema, and other chronic lung diseases may have problems if they breathe in volcanic ash. Okay, then. Ash is greedy, magaspang siya, abrasive, nakakasakit, and sometimes corrosive, or nakakatulaw, and always, always unpleasant. Okay? Small ash particles can abrade the front of the eye. Kapag hindi tayo nag-iingat, we should use um, yung mga goggles or mga protective gear para hindi matamaan ng mga small, small ash particles sa mata natin na maaari natin ikabulag. And then, ash particles may contain crystalline silica, a material that causes our respiratory disease called silicosis. Okay? Makukuha lang ba natin itong disease na to, na silicosis, um, during volcanic eruption? Anyone? Okay, no. So, itong silicosis is makukuha natin um, kapag nakalanghap tayo ng mga alikabo, okay? Especially those people na nagtatrabaho sa uh, yung mga construction worker, they are prone to this kind of disease, the silicosis. Dahil yung workplace nila is prone to um, what we call yung mga alikabo or mga uh, ash.
ashes. Okay. Then, gases. The most common volcanic gas is water vapor, followed by carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. So, among the three, the sulfur dioxide is yung mas may pinakamalalang um, epekto sa katawan natin. Okay? Then, sulfur dioxide can cause breathing problems in both healthy people and people with asthma. Kahit yung mga, mga tao walang sakit, nagkakaroon sila ng problema kapag nilakat nila ito. So, for the excited data. Then, at low levels, gas can irritate the eyes, nose, and throat. And then, at higher levels, gas can...